Every great creative work stands on the shoulders of giants. Welcome to Retro Inspection, where we examine and find out where the things we love today came from. Um, so uh, he comes back uh, from America, uh, and I think the, the book that he had just published was one of the funny name, fun, funny fuzzy wits, or I don't know, anyone, one of those. And it, apparently it was a, not a, a very big success, and uh, he wanted to, what was it? Oh, I was just going to say, Old Country Shop is 1841, uh, Nicholas Nickleby is 39, and uh, yeah, the bar, oh, Barnaby Rudge is 41 as well. Well, his, his publisher was having problems. Now, who knows why or how or what that ultimately meant um, for them, but what it ultimately, ultimately meant for um, Dickens was that he had to self-finance his own publishing through this publishing house, and he wanted to write a, a story about Christmas. And he had written, I believe, a couple of smaller stories early in his career that are were very similar to A Christmas Carol that I have not read. Um, uh, one about uh, a miser visited by Christmas goblins or something like that. And uh, so he was working with these themes all along. And obviously the man was very concerned with poverty, with or with the with the plight of of uh, people in uh, the lower classes in England, and Christmas to him because I think he was quite devout was a time where he could share uh, these ideas uh, to a wide audience. So he decided that he was going to write a Christmas Carol, and uh, he had to self finance it because he wanted it of a certain quality. And his publishers, of course, were who knows? You know, it, it's the it's the story of publishing uh, and self publishing throughout the years, right? How, how little it's, has changed? You know, exactly. Right, just for inflation, the freelance rates are probably about the same. Well, the other thing about uh, Dickens that kind of disheartened him about America was he travels to America. Everyone knows who he is. He's a celebrity. Everyone loves his stories. But he didn't really make any money from America because his books were all pirated. How, yep. how, how much has changed, Nick? Yeah. I mean, through the years. And no shit. And, <laughs> and, and, it, and it continued to happen, I mean, for the, for, for, for the rest of the 19th, well into, into, the, into the 20th century. Guys were pirating P.G. Woodhouse, you know, 70 years after this. Or 80. Oh. So... Well, you know, the one thing you can say about it is it never dampened his spirit to continue to write. And he wrote, you know, obviously he went and wrote The Christmas Carol and so many others. I mean, just all, almost all of them classics. Um, so uh, at the same time, um, that he was writing this. He wasn't just concerned with the poverty. He was con concerned about Christmas itself because it had fallen out of, a little bit out of fashion, but we'll get to that. Like, subscribe, repost, share everywhere. To see what else we're up to, visit xynobooks.com, xenobooks.com.